हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वीडियो खजाना इस वीडियो खजाना चैनल में आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है सो फ्रेंड्स यू जस्ट सिंपली टाइप ऑन गूगल मैथ सॉल्यूशन वीडियो बाय वीडियो खजाना और यू कैन सिंपली टाइप बाय वीडियो खजाना और यू कैन सिंपली टाइप सॉल्यूशन वीडियो बाय वीडियो खजाना सो फ्रेंड्स Please subscribe our channel so that we can deliver the more educational, more motivational, and type of video of n categories. So, friends, stay tuned with us. Don't go away. We will get back to you each and every time for regarding new experience of teaching and learning materials. So, our session started for subject math class ten. Chapter three, exercise three point four, question two point one, solution video by video Khazana. So friends, now our question is question two point one, question two from the pair of a linear equations in the following problems and find their solution if they exist by elimination method. So first, we understand our question. If we add one to the numerator and subtract one from the denominator, a fraction reduced to one, and it becomes one upon two. If we only add one to denominator, what is the fraction? So friends, do you understand the what the question want to speak? नोमिनेटर में हमें एक वैल्यू जोड़नी है और डिनोमिनेटर के अंदर एक वैल्यू वन से उसको सब्ट्रैक्ट करनी है और वो वन के बराबर होता है वो फ्रैक्शन जब उनका हम एडिशन करते हैं सिमिलरली सेकंड जो कंडीशंस दे रखी है क्वेश्चन के अंदर वो दिया हुआ है कि अगर हम डिनोमिनेटर के अंदर वन प्लस करते हैं तो जो फ्रैक्शन का जो सम होता है वो इक्वल टू होता है वन अपॉन टू के नाउ हियर वी सी द फर्स्ट Understand the elimination method. Means remove the one variable, either r, either x or y, from equations by multiplying suitable non-zero constant, so that the coefficient of one variable, either x or y, numerically equal. And additional and subtraction from first equation to another equation, so that one variable will be removed. Solve the equation in one variable x or y to get its value. Then substitute the value of x or y in either of the equation to get the value of other variable. So, friends, now let's start our this question of fraction. Question two point one. So, friends, let's start. Now assume the fraction is x upon y. Here, add one to the numerator, subtract one from denominator. A fraction reduced to one. Here, x plus one, the numerator value. Y plus one, the denominator value. Here, the first equation is created. X plus y upon y minus one equal to one. Here, the first equation is created. Now, a second condition in question given here. It becomes one upon two means fraction. If we only add one to denominator, means y plus one. Now our second equation is created that x upon y plus one equal to one upon two. Now solve both the equation one by one by eliminating method. So friends, what we do now? We solve the first equation x plus one and y plus one equal to one. Now the after cross multiplication using now in terms step by step we get the value of x minus y equal to minus two. This is new update first equation. Accordingly, solve the second equation by simply cross multiplication rule. Now here is the step by step method we applied, and the second equation is two x minus y equal to one. Now finally. We update first and second equation 
accordingly we have to remove the denominators by suitable cross multiplication method we had applied to solve by elimination method of both equations here first equation is x minus y equal to minus 2 second equation 2x minus y equal to 1 here we change the sign we put here the after subtraction from first equation to second now eliminate the y value and we extract the value of x equal to minus 3 so finally we got the value of x equal to 3 now substitute the value of x into first equation that is x minus y minus 2 for getting the value of y now put substitute the 3 value in place of x now here's the steps by step solution in front of y over the screen finally at the end of the step you will get y equal to 5 now conclusion is after solving both the equation by elimination method getting the value of x equal to 3 and y equal to 5 means the fraction is x upon y is equal to 3 upon 5 so finally we solve this question with the help of my video to all of you so friends if you like my video please do not forget to like and share and thanks for subscribe for more videos so friends till then stay tuned with us and goodbye shabakir shubrati thank you